If you want to do a good job measuring your home, the best way is to first record your measurements on what's called a footprint diagram. You do your walls first. Once you've drawn in your walls, then you can go and put in your doors and windows. So that's a door, D for door. These are windows, W for windows. A lot of houses, probably like yours, have all sorts of stuff in the way. So sometimes it's a little complicated, but so this here, that seven foot right there. Add three foot, so it's 10 foot to here, and now I'm measuring this way. That's 13 feet, so up to this point, we're 23 feet. See how it goes? You just keep adding it together. All right, that's almost 11 feet there. 16. All right, so a regular rectangular house, you don't have to measure all the sides because the two opposite sides are always gonna be the same length. Sometimes doors are easier to measure from the inside, but this is a 36. Almost all doors will be 36 inches wide or 32 or 30. There's some 30s, some 34s. Almost all of them are either 36 or 32 inches. The height is typically 78, 80 inches, but so you can measure it pretty roughly. Yeah, this is an 80 inch door. These two on the ends, they're the same thing as the others, just a bit smaller. Metal storm window with a wooden slider behind it. This window here, this is what we would call a fixed window. Fixed because it doesn't move. Um, it, it too has a metal storm and there's the wooden single pane glass behind it. And I would measure these as three separate windows. So roughly, it's like from there to there, you know, about there to there. Say 20 inch. By say 55. So I don't have to measure that one. I know that's going to be the same. This one here is 36 and obviously the height's the same. So 36 by 55. 